Well, I went to the I went to the internet to see what what all do they do, and they have a ton of apartments that they supposedly manage. And somebody like um, So uh, I got to checking around, and I noticed that they kept talking about wanting you to go with a hire and uh, look at the apartment project and complex up there. And I saw where, and I heard tonight, that uh, this was Curry was bragging about how they looked after everything, how they took care of everything. And I noticed that one of the apartment complexes that they proudly manage and put on the internet is Meadowbrook Apartments, also in Hay Hiram. So I went to Hay Hiram today and I took some pictures and we're going to pass these around to the mayor and council and to the other members here. This is an apartment complex and a lot of like for to look at it. This is what your this is the people that manage these apartments. This is what one of them looks like that they manage. And it's in a deplorable condition. It is awful. And you'll notice that there are some attempt, uh, attempts to prop up porches and re rework the steps. But this is a government sponsored program of some type. You can call it a different name. You can talk, call it a tax credit. You can call it whatever you want to. But what you see is how they take care of it or how they don't take care of it. That's what about the time to think. So ladies and gentlemen, the next question then, actually who is making this application? I looked. I saw the application was made by Brookhaven LLP. But I also noticed that, and I believe y'all should have the application there with you. That application says that if the applicant is not the owner, you have to have a written contract or option or request or something from the owner. We requested through Freedom of, of Information Act the application that was presented to the to the Planning Commission it did not contain anything from the owner of the property. We asked for a Freedom of Information request from the city for all of the documents, and we will provide it with what appeared what was represented to be all of the documents. There was not anything from an owner, only from an applicant that wants to build these apartments. Now, you know, when you're a lawyer, you've got to go by the book. You've got to do things like they're supposed to be done. If we did not get a completed application either from the, from the mayor and council or from the planning commission, uh, uh, that's not going by the rules. If there is an, uh, if there is not a written authorization from the owner, then you're not, you're not authorized to grant a zoning request as is stated in your in your charter. Now, this brings up another matter. The mayor and council is a sort of a, an appellate body that looks at what's gone on before. The Planning Commission, who has, has all the resources for doing all of the work, to do all the recommending, has recommended that this zoning re request be denied for all of the right reasons. This is a recharge area for, the, for all of the water that goes into our lakes and pond, into our aquifer, back into our lakes and pond. This, this area has no drainage. It's like at the top of the hill. Everything's going to run down from there. Uh, this, this area is designed for commercial, right on the highway, commercial. It's been there. It's always been there. And the, the people that are here tonight are not asking you to change anything. All of these people out here want you to leave it just like it is. heard 
hurt their feelings. And I, I, we, we've all heard them. You've heard them a lot more than I have. So you've heard them ever since the, uh, ever since this matter got started. But the facts are, this property should not be rezoned because they haven't complied with the requirements. The Planning Commission has voted against it. Uh, the land itself is not, it should not be devoted to a higher density to increase runoff or pension bonds or what have you, but even that water is going to be of a less quality than what comes out of the sky and runoff on the ground. It's going to be polluted with the, the asphalt and the runoff and the oil and the gas, whatever it is. It's going to help destroy the recharge area that, that is so vital to our aquifers here. And uh, lastly, it's going to cost the city of Lake Park the change to give them the opportunity to make the money. And that's that's what doesn't make sense to me. Why should the citizens of Lake Park pay to reduce or increase the expenses for somebody to, to make a profitable uh, project out of this? So, just go ahead and have it. I've been told that the, the mayor and council feels like their primary responsibility is to the citizens and the victims of those that vote, which is true. They're the ones that elect you. They're the ones that put you there. They are the ones that depend on you to do the right thing. Not the people that surround you. But the people that surround you provide the economic input for the community to make it viable and to make your job uh, a good one. Now, we, the people that have hired me have gone out and they've circulated petitions and they presented them to y'all last time. They've been working since then. And tonight, they have petitions signed by, a, I believe it's 112 registered voters that are against this result. Now, that's 112 people that have the ability to vote that are telling you we don't want what these people want to bring in here. Now, the, the, the funny thing is that Mr. Kerr and Mr. Holland talk like this is just something that they have a right to do to put in this project. You just have to endorse it. But I read the case they referred to, the city of Hoover case. That little town over there, they were begging <clears throat> for somebody to sue them because they specifically stated that they didn't want to change an R6 zoning to get around a barrier and they based it solely on race. We're not talking about denying this petition on any discriminatory ground. We're not talking about income, race, creed, color, sex, whatever. We're talking about the fact that this zoning should not be rezoned because of the economic and other reasons that have been reviewed by the Planning Commission and approved by the Planning Commission. What we're asking you to do is give that commission the dignity it deserves, pay attention to it, look at what the, I don't know what involvement IMC has in all of this. They can be a part owner, they can be a uh, managing agent, uh, but it's all it's all wound up in about three or four different corporations of all the same people, I imagine. Uh, but I think the important thing is I haven't seen anything that comply that, that fully complies with your zoning requirements in their application. And if you look at what your responsibility is, is to follow that law. And I think to be aware what the citizens of Lake Park want and don't want.